Take a look at the following items, which contains DNA. A banana. A piece of paper. An aluminum can. A glass bottle. Piece of wood. DNA is a molecule containing biological instructions for an organism. Organisms inherit DNA from their parents. The glass bottle and the aluminum can were not made from living materials, therefore they do not contain any DNA. The other items were all made from living things. The paper went through a lot of chemical processing, though this would have severely damaged the DNA in it. This piece of wood has not been chemically processed, but it's been dried out, so the DNA has been broken up. The DNA in the banana is much more intact. Let's try to extract the DNA from the banana. You can even try this at home with an adult helper and some easy to obtain materials. Here's what you're going to need. Ripe banana, Ziploc bag, warm water, salt, dish soap, rubbing alcohol, coffee filter, narrow jar, and wooden skewer. First, take your banana and peel it. Put half the banana in a Ziploc bag. Then, begin to mush the banana until you get all the lumps out. This is going to take several minutes. Here's our completed bag. Next, you're going to take a quarter cup of warm water, a half a teaspoon of salt, add this salt wa water mixture to the Ziploc bag. Close the bag and gently mix for another minute or two. The salt helps to separate the DNA from the other materials in the cells. After mixing for a few minutes, open the bag and add a quarter teaspoon of dish soap. Carefully mix in the soap. The soap breaks down the fatty membranes in the cells in the banana. Try not to make it too runny. Here's what it should look like when you're done. Place a coffee filter in a glass and pour the solution into the filter. Wait until the liquid stops dripping through the filter. This will take a few minutes. Our liquid has now stopped draining through. Now we're ready to take off the filter. You can just throw out everything in there. Take the liquid and pour it into a smaller container that's nice and tall. Now we're ready to add our rubbing alcohol. Take the rubbing alcohol while tilting the narrow container. Carefully pour the rubbing alcohol into the jar. The alcohol helps the DNA clump together. Pour slowly. You want to have a layer of alcohol floating on the banana liquid. Just like this. The alcohol has been resting on top of the banana mixture for several minutes now. Watch as I lower the skewer into the liquid. See the white thread-like materials? That's the banana DNA. Within a banana are billions of cells, and each cell contains DNA. It's amazing that one can extract DNA with such a simple process. We hope that you'll try this experiment at home. If so, let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching.